Copper, you'll never hear me outside. It's already windy out. It's Ken Kaplan from the New England Motorcycle Museum, and this is the highest performance Sportster Harley Davidson had ever made up to this point. This is a 1997 Sportster Sport or Sportster S. It's a 2003 model. No, it's not a 2003. It's a 97. Uh, it has a 2003. It's funny she mentioned that. It has a 2003 upgraded tank and tin set because the guy that owned it before loved this style of the badge and everything, and he bought these off of eBay for 1,500 bucks. Um, it originally was black. So this is a 1997 Sportster Sport. Uh, a clear way to tell is they had two plug heads after 1998. This is a single plug head. I know a little bit about this bike. Uh, I bought one brand new in 1994. Uh, so in any event, the Sportster Sport is was the fastest Harley Davidson, production Harley Davidson they had made up to that point. It had a, um, we dynoed this bike at 67 rear wheel horsepower. The bike weighs 548 pounds and it's set up for performance street riding. Uh, what's the main difference between this and a, and a regular Sportster? Well, to start with, it's got a set of low bars on it and the pegs are in a position that makes it easy to handle and easy to, easy to control. The bike also comes with a much upgraded brake system from a standard Sportster. It's got triple disc brakes, uh, two in the front, one in the rear. This one has the drilled rotors on there. So the braking system is, is upgraded. The um, suspension is light years better than a standard Sportster. A standard Sportster has no uh, compression or rebound dampening adjustments. This one here you can see has compression and rebound dampening clickers on it where you can actually adjust the handling on this bike whether you're going cross country or if you're going uh, sport riding or if you're drag racing or whether you're run running with a passenger or, or, or luggage. See this right here, this clicker on the bottom? You can turn these in to stiffen up the compression and rebound dampening and you can also adjust the spring preload. The shocks on the back here are one of the best set of uh, production shocks that ever came on a Harley Davidson. Uh, these are piggyback shower shocks, adjustable for compression and rebound dampening also. Um, sorry if I sound like I'm yelling, but it's so windy out and we don't have a mic on, on the camera and I've had a few people complain about the, the sound, so I'm gonna be kind of loud so you can hear me. Uh, the Sportster Sport, uh, this bike was originally about $9,000 out the door. To buy a new 1200 today, you, and set it up like this, you're gonna drop around $13,000 um, between the 12 grand for the bike and then the extras that were put on this one. So uh, this is a bike that's been fully depreciated already. It's going up in value now. It's 22 years old, so it's starting to appreciate instead of depreciate, and it's a beautiful machine. Uh, the other thing about the Sportster Sport is it went full Monty on the motor. It's got the wrinkled black finish on the heads, and the heads are chromed, the, the cases are chromed, it's loaded with chrome. Um, it has a chrome belt guard, chrome oil tank, chrome struts. Uh, the um, front fork has some chrome on it, as are the gauges are chrome. And this one has got about $500 with an optional chrome on the top here. The master cylinder, the uh, 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 control housings, everything has been chromed on, from the bars up, including the risers. These are the original nickel-plated Harley-Davidson Sportster Sport bars, the low bars. Um, so just a beautiful piece. The headlight's been upgraded also. It's got some really cool options on it. It's got the Harley-Davidson Sportster Gunfighter saddle. You can see, if you can zoom in on the side, you can see the it has the um, Sportster logo emblazoned on the side. This is a you know from Harley-Davidson at the time. This is a close to $400 seat uh, back in the day. Um, it's got a, a nice Metzler tire on the rear. Uh, it's just been completely serviced by Chris Kelly, our lead mechanic here. All the fluids have been changed in it. It's got new oil. Uh, uh, new oil, uh, the oil filter, the uh, primary chain case lubricant has in uh, transmission lubricant has been changed also. So uh, it's it's got a, a good battery in it and it's ready to go. Uh, past inspection here, all of the uh, electronics, the hazard lights, the blinkers, the horn, the brake light, the, the, the front brake switch, everything works perfectly on it. Starts right up and runs great. It does have a stage one performance kit on it, which is the easiest thing to do. Uh, just uh, performance exhaust. We actually put this on here. It had a stock original factory header system on it with slip bits. We upgraded it to the Vance and Hines long shots and a, uh, it has a Screaming Eagle intake, which gives you a high performance, high flow K&N style air filter and a stage one jetting kit. Uh, it's got a brand new set of spark plugs in it and it's ready to rumble. Um, Junior, uh, you're behind the camera. You had a 1200 Sportster, your first real street bike. What are your thoughts on this bike? Was it 04 that they swapped to the rubber mounts and they were heavier and 
That's a good point. Uh, I didn't bring that up. Tell them about that. Yep, 04. Down in Daytona, we were talking with the SNS guys, uh, and they said that they do all their high performance sportster builds on the pre 2004 models because they're 50 pounds lighter and they're rigid mount. Yeah, it's a lot and lighter. That 50 pounds is huge. The new ones are uh, uh, bulked up and bloated up a bit. They're more of a cruiser bike. This is Harley's quintessential bare knuckles sportster sport bike. This is the bike that if you want to go down a back road or if you have any uh, ideas of performance riding, this is the one you'd want. SNS builds all their performance builds on this exact frame. Um, I, I would also like to add, this is the frame that Harley Davidson based the 883 Sportster race series on that uh, Cody, Cody, uh, Cody Suds, our sales manager here, his, um, his dad is the horsepower man, works at Moroni Harley Davidson for 10 years. He built the 883 Sportster uh, race engines. Unlimited potential on these motors as far, how far you can go. Um, this one here is, a, is just a standard uh, 1200 with a stage one kit. It's putting down 67 rear wheel horsepower. We'll go through the traps at about 13 seconds in the quarter mile. So uh, just a, an awesome machine. You can leave that right there, bud. That's just lean it against the wall. That's fine. Thanks, Nick. That thing looks sweet. It looks beautiful. Uh, put it in gear so it doesn't roll and smash. There you go. I'll roll it forward so it won't go any farther. There you go. So, um, thanks, bro. Thanks. Uh, the air cleaner is the Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle uh, heavy breather uh, style. Doesn't have the um, choked up stock air cleaner on it, so it's going to run a lot better. That's enough flapping of my gums. Let's uh, show you the proof is in the pudding. Let me um, do a demo ride. Uh, I've come around this side here. I want to point out a few things also. One, one of the hallmarks, or one of the, the, the um, biggest things to worry about with an air cooled motor is overheating. Uh, this one has a Harley Davidson Screaming Eagle oil cooler, so it's going to run a lot cooler. And it's got an uh, upgraded heat sink on the um, on the oil filter, so the oil is going to run a lot cooler on this, which is the the kiss of death for an air cooled motor to overheat. So this one, if you're going to go down to Daytona or Laconia or Sturgis and sit in traffic, this one's going to be able to take it. It also has an upgraded louvered cover on the replacement battery, uh, chrome cover for the electronics. Just a beautiful piece. Um, it's uh, it's uh, got 20,000 miles on it, which is nothing for a Sportster motor. Uh, this, this motor can easily go, this is rated for, by the Society of Automotive Engineers to, for a 100,000 100, mile uh, motor. Uh, all of the Evos were rated at 100,000 miles. On the stock motor components. Yeah, and this, this one has 23,800 and runs like brand new. And it's just been fully tuned, brand new spark plugs. The air filter's clean, all the oils are fresh. It's ready to rumble, start it up. You want to throw a helmet cam on and take it for a ride? Yeah. My favorite part of my job here, if you call this work, um, I absolutely love what I do, but one of my favorite Harleys to ride, the Sportster Sport. Um, as you know, I am a, uh, or maybe you don't know, I'm an ex or retired motocross racer and supercross racer 40 years. And uh, I really enjoy a performance Harley. So a Sportster or a Dyna or a Buell is what I want to be on. Huge difference in uh, handling on this one. The uh, 19 inch front wheel and 16 inch rear is the right combo you don't you definitely don't want a uh, 21 inch front wheel for performance this just handles so much better it keeps the bottom of the frame rails nice and level and um, it handles beautifully and the brakes are off the hook the triple disc brakes light years better stops on a dime just gently curbing, arcing corners, no problem. Tons of ground clearance. You're very rarely, if ever, gonna, unless you're a real pro rider, gonna scrape a peg on this thing because everything's up high out of the way because it's designed for sport riding. Beautiful fall day for a ride. Suspension works great. 
Transmission, clutch, everything's on point. Watch how fast this thing stops. On a dime, baby. This is a bike with the right rider on it. You can do stoppies. The long shots are nice. I really like the pipes. The bike runs great. Love this view of the museum coming down the hill here. You can see how massive it is. Really glad they repaved the street here. It's so much nicer. This thing really starts waking up at around 4,500 RPMs. For real. Runs a lot better with a stage one kit on it, opening opening up the intake and the uh, exhaust. Awesome riding bike. Um, if I had time, I, I would uh, keep going, but we've got a lot of work to do here today. So back to this bike. Uh, my, my brother has a 1200 Sportster. Yeah, you still got that. Bike. Yeah, he, he, that, he, that we bought brand new uh, in the, I think it was 92 or 93, and he's run the wheels off of that thing. And he's an awesome expert level rider, and he could destroy most sport bike riders on a back road with his bike. Because he, he really knows how to ride it. But the, the triple disc brakes, adjustable suspension, the, the 2003 100th anniversary badge on the tank is a beautiful, beautiful work of art, as is the stripe. The bike's got a little bit of patina on it, a couple scratches on the front fender, a little ding right here. Um, you know, it's not a brand new bike. It's got 22,000 miles, but it sure does look great. It has a beautiful shine on it, and it's just been freshly detailed. It's got a little ding on the tank, too. A little tiny one, but uh, a couple little dings. But uh, a couple beauty marks on it, but uh, all in all, just a fantastic Sportster, uh, the highest performance one they, they made up to that up to that point. So uh, if you have any questions about her, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Good luck bidding on it. God bless America.